So for today, we're going to be looking at the seasonal challenges for week 10, 8 of 1, and a reverse all in that order. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification to keep up to date with my current content because I do think it's worth it. Other than that, nah, Nahamkara Hunt, uh, find seven of Queen Mara's loyal companions. I don't know what this is. I'm going to be real with you, but, but to be fair, someone has it already done. Um, Esoteric probably already has it done. I'm probably going to go look his up so that way I can just get this done without having to like go through everything because I don't even know what I picked up. Star Cats. Okay, it says right there, Star Cats. Um, I still don't remember it though. So, yeah, uh, throne world activities in the throne world, complete bounties, earn progress by completing patrols, public events and looting lost sectors. Um, I'll show you which lost sectors I like to run just because that's how I usually run this. I usually do lost sectors. If there's a patrol or if there is a public event, I'll go do that real quick. And then pub uh, public patrols, unfortunately, like are not the best bounties. I pick them up usually as well. So I'll show you how I do it. Uh, last rights get ability final blows and crucible gambit or vanguard bonus progress is granted for guardian final blows i would ignore guardian final blows the progress is just not worth it for crucible unless you're doing unless there's like mayhem or something it's usually not worth it i would most likely complete this in vanguard or gambit uh most dangerous prey defeat guardians in gambit or crucible uh i yeah i would do this in crucible uh gambit would be annoying to do this in Momentum Crash. Defeat Guardians and Momentum Control. Earn bonus progress with zone advantage. Okay. Uh, bank Kill Repeat. Earn, uh, earn points by banking moats, defeating blockers, and defeating Guardians and Gambit. This isn't hard. Uh, you just have to play the game however long it takes for you to complete this. And then Calibrate Long Rage. Uh, pulse Rifles, Bows, and Trace Rifles. Bonus progress is granted for defeating Guardians. So, I would most likely be doing... A pulse rifle and a bow honestly I, i'd probably do a bow and a trace rifle i think i feel like that would be a lot more fun so let me know what you guys think um apparently apparently the nightfalls are bugged right now let me see so i'm guessing they fixed this immediately because uh asked across as a video said that they were bugged but yeah it doesn't seem like it's bugged to me so let me let me show you guys real quick um Seventh throne world so i would be doing this one over here uh the metamorphosis just because wait yeah just because um the extraction one uh as much as i like this one it's annoying because you have to go through the first chunk of the lost sector and then you have to like get it into the plates and that's really annoying and i really don't want to do that the one here uh, it's, it's under this i'm pretty sure that one i'm not the biggest fan of either because you have to basically have kill rooms you have to kill everything and then get to the next room and then get to the next room this one however it does have kill rooms as well but it's much faster because you all you have to do is kill the knight um kill the two crystals and then that's pretty much it so you could really ignore everything if you want so it would most likely be between this one and this one but this one i like just a lot more because the um the public event is much faster than this one this one is the one where you have to like if it's the one i'm thinking of you have to like go through all almost all of that area with uh escorting a, a payload and then that's it this one is just uh it's the uh what's it called what, what's their name the uh the fallen but they're not fallen um them it's them you basically have to shoot like balls that are coming out it's really easy that's all I'm, that's all you really have to gather from that this is super easy and yeah that's why i do this one a lot so as for 801 we have gold leaf i don't even know what armor i'm wearing okay so gold leaf is pretty cool it's a really good like dark colors with a really pop gold so i definitely would recommend this one I would just switch out the cloaks color for something else. We have Arctic Dreamscape. This is a really good shader if you want to go for like a tactical look. Ooh. Um, for your like tactical looking guardian. Just because it's like a snowy. Yeah, it has that like digital effect, which is real. Not effect, but the digital uh, design, which is really cool. And then we have Dead Orbit Resurrection. This is a really cool shader. Just be aware that it does have like that like fucked up look, a distressed look. So if you want to have like your guardian look like that armor has been weathered, this is definitely going to be the shader you want. And then for the armor sets, well, more armor pieces in this one. 
It's gonna be the hold on, hold on. The scorn sets. There we go. The scorn set. The scorn chest pieces, and then the individual helmet pieces. That. Let's go to collections real quick. I'll just show you real quick. Um, because I talked about I talk about this whenever we get this armor, all the time. It's in the world actually. Um, yeah, it's over there. So here's the hunters. I hate the helmet. I've never seen anyone do something cool with it. The chest piece is really cool. Definitely worth getting. And then the cloak, the cloak I'm not the biggest fan of. Titans, um, I think your chest piece is really cool. Uh, Tora Bottle Celebration Mask. It's the Wakanda Forever Mask or the Black Panther Mask is what we called it. Or at least my old clan used to call it. Chest piece for the Skirn Baron, you definitely should pick up. And then the Memory of Markade is really good as well. Warlocks, um, helmet's pretty terrible. The chest piece is super dope. And then the bond is pretty cool as well. I actually no, never mind. It's not that bad. It's bad. So I'm, I usually have armor sets like rotating, but unfortunately there's just too many pieces for me to do that realistically. So the best pieces I would tell you to get would be the chest pieces. That's like the best ones. So as for Eververse, I'm not the biggest fan of Eververse right now. So Ir Iridient, Iridient, Chariot, Chariot, Char whatever. Um, it's cool if you have plate armor. I don't think it looked good with the cloth armor. We have Lucid, which is one of my favorite shaders. You definitely should pick the shader up because it does. Ha it gives you a really good like uh, hive theme. If you have that going, the shader just goes hard with it. Uh, we have Warset Arrival. And then Western Front. So I would actually recommend this if you don't have the literal best ornament for it, which is the one I have on it right now. It's the uh, Deep Stone Crypt one. I think that one is just the best one. Uh, splish, splash. Okay. As for the stuff at the bottom, we have Kronos Exegus, which I'm not the biggest fan of this one. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Like, it's like whatever's to me. So I'm definitely not picking this up. But I mean, if you like it, let me know in the comments below. Uh, Cosmos Starling. Uh, Wanders Wings. I actually don't think this looks bad. We have Firebreak Shell, which, meh. We have VR Exploration. <sighs> Sorry, I'm like, I just woke up like an hour ago, so I'm like, my body's sore too. Cozy Campfire, I, I kind of want to get this one. Um, just because I don't, I don't think I have any like, uh, like emotes that have 4,000, never mind. Uh, swirling leaf entrance. We have uh, minotaur effects. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, reef oracle. And then for the shaders, welded brass. I love the shader. Um, it's a really good shader and especially because it gives you a really good, like deep purple glow, which is why I love it. Definitely pick this one up. We have iridescent coral. Yeah, this looks way better with plate armor, but that being said, I'm, I feel like it's just too much. Uh, chrome stock. I would have actually loved this shader if it didn't have the blue, if it didn't have the blue, I think this would have gone, gone hard. And then a uh, safety first. Nah. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. I am going to be working on a few things. So first and foremost, I will be posting the Crota armor tomorrow, the review and the shader. And then we'll get to the uh, individual class specific uh, videos. And then after that, we pretty much get open uh, about anything I really want. So first we're going to start going to posting the exotic ornaments for the classes. I think I'm going to start doing that. Um, and then after that we have, hold on, I'm looking at my calendar ornaments, ornaments. Yeah. So I think at that point we'll start doing the exotic videos again. And then from there, it'll probably just open up. Cause I do have like a full list of topics that I want to talk about within this channel. But I also want to start doing a little bit more gameplay videos because, uh, quite frankly, I don't do a lot of those and I would like to do those. So probably some guides as well, like specifically talking about, let me see, let me go to here real quick. So specifically talking about like some of the dungeons that we have, 
So if we go to legends, I think that yeah, so prophecy I probably will do start doing prophecy. Probably start running this, the weekly thing, and then posting it on the channel, like if I'm doing it solo flawless or whatever. And then the other dungeons as well. I think I'm gonna start with the first one, the Shattered Throne. I'm gonna post I think I'm gonna run all of them solo flawless. And then I'm gonna actually talk about like my thoughts that are going through because I know some people will like to actually know what I'm talking what I'm thinking about when I'm going through a dungeon and obviously I'm gonna be writing notes so that way I can remember because I can't remember all the time but we'll do that and I think the moon has one or two it has this one pit of heresy it's the weekly too that's pretty cool but I also want to do like solo flawlessing definitely is gonna be something I want to post in the channel a lot and some guides on it because uh I've ran all of the dungeon solo flawless like all of them so I I, I think I know what I'm talking about when it comes to solo flawless in dungeons, but I also want to post like Crucible, Gambit, and Vanguard stuff, like maybe some highlight of the week where if when I'm doing the weeklies for this, I can like... The, the other thing that I really, really should note is that I think I am going to start streaming again, but in a more variety type of thing so i will be posting destiny 2 i will be playing destiny 2 most of the time i would be doing like maybe the weekly stuff where i'm doing like the weekly playlist stuff i'll probably post some of that and then have a best i don't know like we have a lot of things when i say we i specifically mean just myself but i do talk about it with other people so that's why i said we but i specifically am thinking about doing a lot of things for this channel because i don't want to just be fashion anymore i, I i'm appreciative of the support that you guys have given me because without you guys this channel not might not have gone in up to 4,000 subscribers which is also thank you guys 4,000 subscribers is wild uh last year's or 2023's goal was to hit 5,000 i never really said or told you guys that was my goal it was more of an internal thing now i want to at least hit 6,000 this year hopefully if not we i mean realistically i would like to go up to like 10,000 just because that's like 10,000 to for me for me 10,000 is like okay now i'm a youtuber like now i can legitimately call myself a youtuber but for now the thing that sucks is i need to post my instagram like my, not my answer well i have it on my on my description but uh the discord and the patreon those are the two things that i'm like really working on right now because once we get the discord running then we can really start going ham on just the community because then we can actually make community i'm thinking about merch i'm thinking about a lot of things that i have no right to think about because i just need to think about one thing but that's that's adhd for you man so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all if you guys have any comments questions concerns let me know in the comments below I'll definitely get back to you if i don't get back to you quickly just know that i will get back to you because if i don't get back to you quickly that means i'll usually get back to you within a week just because of of my life is just kind of busy right now so i appreciate you guys thank you for hearing me just rant about random things other than that be safe i will see you guys later